Hi everybody, welcome to another uh, YouTube video for Launchbox. Uh, so today we're talking about PlayStation Vita. Uh, I've got a couple of ISO uh, games there uh, on my desktop ready. Uh, so let's get on with it. This is basically how to install it into Launchbox. PSP Vita has always been a fairly tricky system to get. Uh, as you can see I've got some games already installed. Uh, I'm going to try and make this as simple as easy as possible. Uh, I'll do this with uh, as minimal fuss as I can uh, and try and keep it simple and plain for you. There are other ways to do this but I thought they were more complicated. This is the way that I found it can happen and play the games and it works very well with the big box as well. So yeah let's get on to it. So what you need to do is once you've got your game from various sources, you know I can't tell you where to get those but I'm sure you can uh, google those or find them on the internet. Make sure you get these no NPDRM zip files. Remember they have to be in zip. Don't unzip them, leave them as they are. So what you need to do is install them into the emulator. I use an external hard drive so all you have to do is go to your emulator, find your Sony PlayStation Vita, which is there, which is Vita 3K. Start it up, and what you have to do is install it. So what we'll do is we'll pick off the one up there. Uh, so install zip, select the file. Mine's on my desktop, so scroll up to desktop. Uh, I mean, you'll place it wherever you want to. Click on it, Assassin's Creed Chronicles, click on it open it will install the bigger the file the slower it will take to install don't worry it will just sit there for a while just don't worry about it it will just start going after a few minutes it does take a little while but I'm going to go at full speed here if you need to move along in the video skip it along uh, but I'm going to do it from the whole thing so you can see the whole thing happening got to give a, a good shout out as well uh, to, to Danny and, and to Patrick uh, this is for you guys more so. Uh, it's always good to help doing these videos, but I know there are a few other videos out there that help you do this, but I thought they were overly complicated with NFO readme files involved, and I thought this is, that's just not feasible, it's too difficult. So I managed to find this way to make it work. So all being well, we should get something running. I mean, I've, so far, as you can tell, I've managed to get many games installed on the launch box system uh, these are all been installed and play v perfect and they work very well with the uh, with launch bo big box too all I need to do is put videos to them now or video snaps as they're called so, but don't worry with this bit sometimes it'll just sit there at like 90% or 85 or 80% and it won't seem to be doing anything trust me let it finish it just takes a minute or two it's obviously a slow install but the Vita I thought to myself I remember one time having one of these PlayStation Vitas and I think it was just at the beginning of, of the Android phone uh, thing so it was competing against the Android phone with all the free games on there uh, so it was never gonna work for the obvious reason because I think the phones were taking over so I don't really have a, a great affinity to it but it's worth adding to your launch box anyway and the games are only small I think they came on like a, a like an SD card type style. But the bigger the game, the slower the install. But like I say, don't forget if you, I mean, I'm assuming you've already got Vita 3K installed. There are plenty of videos on the internet for that uh, on YouTube just to uh, make sure that you're uh, doing the, the Vita 3K. But yeah, as you can see in the background in that that GUI file uh, screen there, it is doing stuff and decrypting it into the emulator. PlayStation Vita games have to be installed into the emulator. So you need to make sure you've got plenty of size in the drive. But like I say, I'm going to do the whole thing on the video. So if you get bored of waiting, I'm sure you can skip along to where it gets to 100%. There you go, it seems to have done itself. So, if you want to, get rid of that zip folder, tick that box. If you don't want to get rid of it, don't untick it. 
So I'll just click OK. I'm going to leave it because I'm going to keep it. I keep it in a, a separate drive as backup folders. So I'm going to click OK. So the game in there, there it is. Assassin's Creed Chronicles. Uh, so yeah, that that's the key thing to remember. That's the game ID name that we're going to need. So, <coughs> excuse me, what we're going to do is, now that game's installed, we'll just close that down for a second. We will come back to that. So where you find your games is in your emulator file, you'll have this path in the apps. So go to the file named X, sorry, UX0. That's where your games are kept in the app folder. That's all where all the games are located. So we'll open the Vita 3K again, just for a minute. We need it. Just tap on. So let's go into the apps. So let's find that game again. The ID is PCSE 700. <coughs> there it is. The file we're going to install will be that eBoot. So what we need to do next is go to Launchbox. So what we'll do is Tools, Import, ROM Files, Next, Add File, Go to where your drive is, where you've just installed it. Uh, mine's on an external, so launch box, uh, emulators, find PSP Vita, or wherever you're keeping it on yours. Remember that folder there, UX0, apps, and then find the one that you need, which was that one, 700 on the end. Uh, go to the eBoot, click next. PlayStation Vita is the install, 3K Vita is the emulator, leave them where they are, your choice, search for metadata, EMU Movies will be next, always recommend EMU Movies no matter what, great for extra covers and better covers and better information, you can even get the game music and things like that, so always, it's a free account, don't have to subscribe and pay, so it's well worth doing, uh, look for next metadata, this is where it comes in. You have to change that eBoot. Change that to Assassin's Creed. Uh, oh, I forgot to put the hyphen S on the end. Assassin's Creed. What was it called again? If you need help, just click on there. Uh, Chronicles. So, find on there. Assassin's Creed. When you spell it right. When you spell it right. Right, click next. It should import the game now and it's ready. This is the easiest way I found and things work. As you can see I've got I've got these games in. I probably won't expand the library much more. Because for me, there's a lot of animation, small games, and RPGs, and RPGs really aren't my thing. So I probably won't be going any further with this Vita system than much more than this. Uh, there'll probably be a few more games I'll probably add. Wipeout works great, and it looks good, and feel, it plays really great on this. Uh, yeah, there are, there are a few games. I enjoy that as well. The 25th anniversary edition of Night Trap. We all remember Night Trap first time round, mm -hmm. and the controversy went with that. There's quite a lot of extras on it. So there we go. Assassin's Creed Chronicles. You can tidy it up in uh, Edit Metadata, which is right click. Uh, you can change this bit. Uh, sometimes you can just cross that bit out if you like. Uh, have a word play until you find the right way that it's in the system. So click Ass Assassin's Creed. Uh, might be a hyphen in there somewhere. Assassin's Creed, or have I not spelled it right? I've probably not spelled it right. Uh, so, very embarrassing to do this in my video at the moment. Right, there we go. So, it worked on that. So, Chronicles, there we go. There it is. Have a word play. That's the other thing. Have a word play with it. Images, download images. 
click downloaded images for you what's available I like to try and keep them 3d customize them into 3d uh, this is where it's going to matter so click OK uh, and once that's done its bit you'll be good so oh, click the wrong one there we go sir so this is where it's going to matter I've got it already on some games uh, so what you need to do is click edit on one of the other games I'll try and post this in the description below I'm sorry if this video comes across as a bit long-winded uh, but it's the only way I managed to find it working this is what you need uh, so on, on your edit metadata go down to emulation uh, and put in dash R space P C S E zero zero seven hundred remember and what that title was the the PCSC is the game that's the title you need so what I do here is rename copy and uh, in fact I should what I should do first is copy that cancel it go to the Chronicles edit metadata uh, emulation tick use command parameters paste in there number the game ID I say you can slow this down and pause this at your leisure as you need rename copy that uh, and edit that back into there so just highlight that bit and then paste so what you'll see in there is dash R space P C S E zero zero seven hundred space dash dash full screen uh, I will try and pop that into a into the readme below and don't forget obviously when it comes to your PSV Vita how to set that up so click OK that should be good now uh, right so we'll see that working and hopefully I'll close the emulator down uh, right so that should load up now uh, here we go double click and it should happen there you go game working obviously you need to do the shaders I've never played the game first so it needed to do the shaders I'm not gonna bother sort of hanging around with that sounds great though I say it just needs to do the shaders I should have probably run the game first uh, so I've done the pipeline shaders but I'll quit it from there Well, yeah, I mean, just a quick one before you go. I mean, a game I love. I have a big affection for, as cheesy as it is. It's got all the extras on. The video is much improved as well. Much improved look of the game. So as you can see, all the extras are there. I'll quit it now quickly. I'll quit it there quickly and I'll stop rambling on. But that's what you need to do to get your PlayStation Vita stuff working. Uh, for now, we'll leave you with that. Uh, I'd like to say take your time with the video stop and pause and skip as you need to uh, other than that take care